This morning, the focus uh, at the speaker's uh, news conference on the economy and the questions was really on this issue of whether he supported members uh, of the House on this call to have Rosenstein publicly testify uh, really immediately before uh, the recess. And the speaker uh, basically punted to the meeting Thursday between Rosenstein and the president. The president obviously should have uh, political appointees that he has faith and confidence in. Uh, he's meeting with the president, I think, tomorrow. So I think we shouldn't step in, in the way of that. We should let the president work it out with Rod Rosenstein. I hope they have a good productive conversation, and I think that's, that's helpful. Justice Department officials said that they had not received an official invitation from either the House Oversight or the House Judiciary Committees requesting that Rosenstein publicly testify about these allegations that he discussed recording the president as well as invoking the 25th Amendment. But critics say that the speaker should take a firmer position because oversight is completely separate from the issue of whether Rosenstein stays in the job. Fox News asked the speaker whether he supports a call to sanction Rosenstein if he doesn't appear. I will defer to the Judiciary Committee. I don't micromanage the committees around here. I'll defer to the Judiciary Committee as to what kind of hearings they want to have, what kind of witnesses they want to have. Um, but I would say this, if you're going to stack the credibility of Rod Rosenstein against Andy McCabe, who was fired for lying, I'll, I'll go with Rod Rosenstein. So in the last few minutes, uh, here in Statutory Hall, I saw Congressman Mark Meadows, who is one of the Republicans who's been uh, leading the call for Rosenstein to publicly testify, and I asked him to respond to the comments last hour by the Speaker, and he told us that he will, quote, not allow the Speaker to punt to the White House, and they will get an answer one way or another today on whether the Speaker will support them or whether they have to move on without him. Uh, I took that to mean moving on with sanctioning Rosenstein here on the Hill, Bill.